In this video, we're going to do area between polar curves. And in this example, it says find the area of the region that lies inside the circle R equals 3 sine theta and outside the cardioid R equals 1 plus sine theta. So over here, I've made a rough sketch of the graph. And what we're looking at is inside the circle but outside the cardioid. So that would be this green area in here. So, in course, in order to do that, we're going to have to find the angles involved. So, let's set these two equal to each other. So, 3 sine theta is equal to 1 plus sine theta. Subtract over 2 sine theta is 1. Divide sine theta is 1 half. Sine is 1 half in quadrant 1 at pi 6 and in quadrant 2 at 5 pi 6. So now we know that we're dealing with that part between pi 6 and 5 pi 6. And you might have been able to guess that from the picture. So now let's go ahead and set up our integral. Now when we do this, we need to pay attention to the outer R and the inner R. If we think about outer R and inner R, uh, we have clearly outer and inner. So let's go ahead and set up our integral. So our formula, standard formula, A is equal to 1 half integral from alpha to beta of our outer R squared minus our inner r squared d theta. So area is 1 half from pi 6 to 5 pi 6. We're going to have 3 sine theta squared minus 1 plus sine theta squared d theta. Now, if they're allowing us a calculator on this one, which we hope they will, then let's go ahead and type that in. Uh, once again, make sure that your mode is in polar mode. Uh, and once you're sure that you're in polar mode, you can go math. Uh, actually, before we go math 9, we're going to have to put a 1 half in front of there. So I'm just going to put a 0.5 and then math 9. And we're going to go from pi 6, so pi 6, to 5 pi 6. And parentheses, our first function, 3 sine theta. Close the theta parentheses. Close the 3 sine theta parentheses squared minus another set of parentheses for our second function, 1 plus sine theta. Close our parentheses for the theta. Close our parentheses for the 1 plus sine theta squared. And we want d theta. And if we do that, we get 3.14159265.4. Hey, does that sound familiar? Well, wouldn't that be pi? 